So I've come up with the solution on installing the table back on the uh, pedestal here. I'm going to go back to putting these sliders back in. I purchased this full extension ball bearing slide set, 12 inch, from a big box store and paid about $15 for it with tax. Anyways, um, I also purchased this 40 piece set from the big box store and it was around $10 and it comes with some um, some drill bits and a whole kit, 40 pieces. Uh, it should be useful in doing this project. So I'm going to go ahead and take this out of the package and install it onto the, uh, the pedestal as I have done before and then I'll install the table. So I'll check back with you later. So it comes with this these little itsy bitsy uh, screws, some instructions, and the sliders. And you just have to line up these holes in the back to the holes here in the pedestal. And the little white uh, stoppers so it's going to come out like this I just installed both of these sliders and I went to the Ace hardware store and talked to the gentleman there and he sold me a couple of these um, screws that I needed and because I was missing one of them not sure where the heck it went to but so here's my table and I've had it in the back of my pickup while I was driving down the road and encountering other problems like the flat tire anyways one thing that is very upsetting about the Airstream and how they do their tables and their doors is this laminate uh, comes off and I'll have to show you in a separate video all the different pieces in my rig where this laminate the glue that they use doesn't keep everything attached and that's been an ongoing issue that I've encountered Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start installing the table. So I'm going to go ahead and take off these clamps and see how it did. I've left it on here for several days to really let that glue set in. There's a little bit of glue residue on here, but other than that, um, seems to be holding. So we'll see how it goes. Now I'll go ahead and install it on the pedestal. Check back with you later. So what I did underneath is I screwed in these screws and over here on this one, I put the to its location. So the local hardware store did not have the exact same size screw. They said uh, they had one that was longer and I didn't think it was gonna be a big deal, but you can see it is, it's hanging down uh, underneath the table and I don't like that. Secondly, I always wondered why the Airstream people, manufacturers used a certain type of a screw. Correction. 
correction why they used this type of a, a nut that had doesn't have a hole in it. It's like a round. Um, it's round at the top. I'm not sure why they had used it. And now, now I understand. Now I understand when it's here underneath the table if somebody uh, walk you know wipes their arm against that they're not going to get scratched up because of this screw that's um, hanging down. So I'm going to go ahead and take that out and do it properly. Yes, it's going to be a pain, but I want to do it correctly. So I've installed this table a few times and had to uninstall it because I found out that these need to be aligned in the back so that the lever that you're using to, cl to close the, uh, to lock the table in place, um, locks back here. And if it's, if it's too far back, then it's, it, it doesn't give it a good lock. So I've got it now lined up here and I'm going to go ahead and um, attach the table again. So you have to put this left side in first, uh, put, put these sliders in, and you want it to line up properly. So do the left side first so that when it is all the way back, you can lock it into place with this little lock. And, and then once you have it into place, then you can pull it back out and do the right side. So I'm going to do that now. So this is my solution to come up with these uh, three and a half inch corner braces. And come in a package. I started out with these larger braces and they stuck out too much. So um, I believe these are half inch and or no, a uh, one inch. And uh, they were just too big, too large. So uh, I purchased these three quarter inch, and I'll show you how I'm doing the install. So I installed one of them, and I'm in the process of installing the second one just by. So using these brackets is not a solution. It won't work. Because whole, installing this here, the table still slides out. It doesn't keep the table in place like I thought. Um, this, the table's going to be able to come, come out. So it's unfortunate that I went through all this work. Uh, to try to get this to work, but I don't know how I could get it where it would stay in place. So, my next solution is to use this. I got it at the hardware store. It's called a barrel bolt, and it's very similar to the um, bolt that they have at the end of the table. So, I'm going to see about installing it at the beginning of the table right about here to keep this in place. So that's what I'll do now. Well this solution won't work either because this bracket is too big and it's sticking out in order to keep it in place and it's sticking out beyond the table, so that is not going to work. Back to the drawing board. Well, that's totally embarrassing because guess what? It does the same thing. The table slides out. I actually have to go underneath here to lock it in 
you can't get under here because of th these um, sliders. There's nowhere to get up through the sliders into the table. So I'm going to have to find some kind of a hole that I can get through, even if it's just from underneath here and then into the table. So check back with you later. Well, I finally got it. This is definitely the most frustrating project I've ever done in here. A very, very frustrating. It's been taking me a long time to figure it out, unfortunately. And doing this by yourself is a big challenge, lifting the table on and off and trying to secure everything with, with one hand and all that. But anyways, what I did is I just took two screws. I put one here and one here and now the table is not moving at all. And uh, additionally on the left hand side I have the uh, the lock so that's securing it and it is staying in place so we'll see what happens when I get down the road also a quick update on the table it's still staying in place with the glue that I used it's not coming apart which is nice because uh, this cardboard kept coming apart and the laminate was coming apart so so far it's staying in place I do have to uh, do a little bit of cleanup here for some excess glue that's on the table. I'm using a little bit of goo off on the table to get the uh, residue from the glue um, that was left on the table. The goo gone got most of that glue, excess glue up, and so now I'm just uh, wiping that off with uh, some Windex to polish up the table and make it real nice. So that's the fix. I just used a couple of those screws there for a few cents and, uh, and glued the table back together and we're back in uh, business. We'll see how it uh, holds up. I'm pretty happy with the end result. The table wasn't really going anywhere. Thanks for watching.